Well, it's a Tina Steam Live, you guys. It's Friday, one o'clock. This is what we do. Uh, we go live uh, with hopefully some content that is helpful for parents of p parents of, p of kids, kids, any kids. Um, it is um, week number 12, 13, 10. I have lost count. Mention it below right here. What week are we in? Shelter in place. I'm talking about Contra Costa County, uh, Alameda County, uh, the, re the rest of you tuning in. We, we've been locked down for a while now and uh, it's a crazy thing. So uh, here's my, look, I've got the macrame here. I'm outside, so I'm sure that as soon as, you know, you all start showing up, uh, the wind is going to pick up and you can't hear me anymore. Um, but it's the only quiet place at my house. There's uh, six of us in the house. We've got um, a, uh, let's see, 12 year old that just graduated fifth grade. It was the most <clears throat> underwhelming event of the of the year, so I kind of feel bad, but it was also, you know, anyway, she, she's so resilient, she's so cool. Uh, we have a uh, high school senior, I want to talk about that, he's 18, and then a um, college kid and another college kid, they're 20, 24. So, we've got a house full, so the only quiet place in my house is not in my house, it's outside the house. This is the quietest it is, and all I hear is the wind blowing and the sun shining and it's a beautiful day, so. <sighs> How are you guys doing? It's week 11. Alicia, glad somebody's keeping track. All I know is that it's Friday, one o'clock. How do I know? Because I set an alarm. This is how I know what's going on. I have to set an alarm for everything. But I want to talk about our seniors. Um, I'm raising a senior. He's done with his... Oh, before I go, I want to remind you that there's a, a giveaway. That's maybe the only reason why you tuned in today. Because there's a giveaway. I'm giving away a cool prize. It's at the end of this Facebook Live because I am pretty sure I'm not um, interesting enough to keep watching. I just have to pay you. Does that make sense? I just have to like, almost like that. Anyways, I have a really cool prize, especially for those of you who have seniors in your life. Uh, either you're raising them or uh, they live next door or they, anyway. Um, I have not been super emotional about my own situation. Um, I mean, at times, you know, I just get bummed out that I'm stuck in the house or that my job is changing or that my uh, community is changing and that whatever. But the thing that gets me the most is the world that or the the way that the seniors have to deal with this whole shelter in place there. They don't get to go back to school. They get to pick up their cap and gown from a car. There's very few activities. Uh, my son's, you know, Disneyland trip, uh, senior prom, uh, uh, a ton of special, I think there were like seven or eight different events happening, all canceled. And uh, I'm an Enneagram 7. If you guys know anything about Enneagram, anyway, that's just, it's an illness. Which means I can find silver linings in the, in the ugliest of situations, so that's a good thing. So I put that to use, and I decided what, what is so good about this particular season that our seniors are in right now. And I, I came up with a couple of things. And I think the first thing is, the most important thing rather, is that we are teaching our kids something. This semester, this trimester, this, la this, this whole season, these last 11 week, thank you Alicia, um, we've taught our kids a bunch of things. First of all, we've taught them resilience. Um, you as the adult in the, in the house hopefully have been able to go, you know what, uh, we can do this. Um, you were really good at that week six. Week 11 is a little bit different, but we've taught them resilience. Uh, we've taught them that we can stick to it and that we're tough and that you can't get us down. Uh, I'm glad that my kids are getting to see that. Both my wife and I are just like, we're just, we're gonna keep going and we're gonna st get up in the morning we're gonna, and we're gonna just start the day. And We've taught them resilience. We've ta taught them uh, flexibility. My senior has gotten a crash course in what it means to be flexible. Um, new schedule, new way of doing your job, new way of studying, new habits, maybe even new revenue sources. Maybe you've, you know, you've had to kind of retool how you do stuff around the house. Um, new, a lot of new, and we're going like, we're flexing. We're just, we're just gonna pivot right here and we're gonna go. And our seniors are gonna remember that. This is a, lesson guys that they 
could not have learned any other way. We've also taught him that people can be counted on when things get hard. I mean, have you, you know, have you seen the stuff on Facebook? There's, there's some, you know, crazy stuff. But man, there's some really encouraging, positive stuff coming out that how communities are coming together for the greater good and people coming around other people and helping each other. It's awesome. So that's what we're teaching. We're also teaching them that the world is, come on, you guys, it's a good place. Uh, when circumstances are scary, when there's a global pandemic, people are good. They are showing some of their best sides, and I, I love that. So our seniors are learning stuff, guys, that they couldn't um, learn any other way. And I'm thinking that we might be raising, we might be seeing the emergence of one of the most resilient generations ever to come across um, to come across our screen. Like we'll, we'll be, this is going to be in the history books, you guys. Um, they're resilient. They're going to be super innovative because they're going to have to come up with new ways of doing things. They're they're probably the most creative, the most the strongest, the most strongest. I don't know, English man. And how about this? The, the most problem solvingest generation we'll we'll see in decades and decades and decades. I don't know about you, but that just gets me excited. It gets me excited about celebrating my senior. It gets me excited about standing next to him in the living room in front of the large screen TV as the principal delivers and the valedictorian delivered their addresses, you know. What a lame thing and yet I just, I don't know. There's all sorts of really good things about this, you guys. So, be encouraged. You're doing it. You're making it. Look for the people around you that can help you. Uh, Tina Steam guys has so many resources that will help you and uh, so this is where my, my the giveaway comes in uh, we want to give away let's say 50 bucks Amazon gift card $50 to a senior you mentioned in the comment below so just put their name first name only first name only put their name below and we'll enter you if you want to be entered twice just put their picture as well preferably a picture that they you know where they look really good <laughs> put that right below and uh, we're gonna keep that going so uh, like our, our page of course um, on Facebook so that you get uh, informed about some of the things that we have some of the resources we have for you as parents as we're facing these crazy times and how to parent better how to parent um, with more confidence so like that page and then just comment below with the name of your senior right below this video uh, we're gonna draw a name on Sunday night so make sure you have your name in by 8 o'clock Sunday night. We'll pull a name out of that list of comments. And um, that person will get a $50 gift certificate to Amazon for their senior. And they're going to need it this coming year. Either for stuff for their dorm room or for stuff here at home. Uh, they're going to love that so much. Um, I, I'm just so um, proud of you for being the parent to this senior. Doing things that no parent before us has had to deal with and uh, you're doing it and I think on the other side of this looking back at their 10-year reunion or their 20-year reunion we're gonna go back and go man this generation this generation is the one that got us out and that got us to just the best situation that we can be in we invented this we started that we problem solved this all because of this generation of seniors the class of 2020 congratulations to all of you and uh, I can't wait to see and hear all the stories right here on Facebook. But put that in the comments below. That'd be awesome. All right. Till next time. Thanks for being here. Bye.